all right oh my god i can't believe i did this so this video i originally recorded this video and i did not check the mic so the original video has no audio so i'm trying to overdub this right now um i think i remember most of what i was saying but then i will just watch the video and then um try to basically commentate on what's happening so um like i said in the previous video um this is just my strategy this is how something that i came up with on my own taking ideas from different people on youtube there's no one strategy that works 100 percent. you gotta try stuff even if you have a strategy even if you follow the indicators sometimes the market goes in the direct opposite i am not a professional trader follow my channel subscribe to my channel on youtube digital bashment and you will see my channel i'm just a dg i've been doing forex for the last couple months i went live with my live account on may 7th i've been striking i would say luck right i don't know what i'm doing this is just pure luck please do not take this for financial advice don't go and lose your money and say oh digital bashment make me lose my money i come in and fuck him nah bro this is these videos are for my personal use so i could go back and i could check all right oh this and that i was doing that this at that time oh okay all right, you understand this is my journal this is my vlog right so then when i start my day I come in i um i check the charts on trading view i use trading view to check the chart because you know i could see the chart better on trading view as opposed to meta trader 4 meta trader 4 is my trading platform and my broker is traders way the reason why i chose traders way as my broker is because of the leverage one to one thousand leverage uh with that kind of leverage you could make money quicker you could also lose money quick and blow your account blow your account in no time always bear that in mind right so um i believe in this part of the video i was rambling a lot as part of my introduction that's why i'm not doing anything yet but yeah so like we were saying um i check trading view and i check the chart on trading view and i look for pairs that have consistency in the trend so if you can if you i check the four hours i check the one hour half an hour 15 5 1 um so i look for a consistent trend under each time frame and then i decide whether i should buy if it's going up or sell if it's going down right so um yeah so i guess that was the introduction i really talk long in the introduction anyway um my goal for the day is to make more money than i would make on my nine to five now if i could make 200 300 dollars on a daily 300 dollars by five three fives fifteen hundred dollars for the week hey doggy you good is son hey going to the african school free apa yeah so that's my goal for the day to try and make more money than i would make on a nine-to-five job right and my ultimate goal is to quit my job and stay home and do this all right so now i could see i check in the charts the um euro pound what's happening there all right so i basically have to commentate on what i was doing because i forgot to turn on the audio all right so the euro pound as i could see here um that's under the one hour so under the one hour there was a consistent um the price was going down so i followed that trend under the, the one hour the price was going down i wish i could have heard what i was saying i really do fuck with this and 
yeah but the price was coming down here another one hour so and this yeah there was like 26 minutes left in that in the current hour so yeah did i check the previous uh no what did I, I didn't remember what i did son so normally i would check the four hours first or even the one hour first because from the one hour i could see what ha was happening in the last four hours right so the last candle to the right is the current candle oh i switch already all right so i went to the aussie usd that green line was my position i think yesterday or so so let me delete that line um yeah so i went to aussie usd and under the one hour there is no consistency here the previous hours the price was going down but the current hour you know indecisive between the sellers and the buyers and the weeks i think i was explaining the weeks there the weeks is the body of the candle basically shows you price action and then the week shows you where the price was rejected i can't explain the candles i'll have to go back to my notes to explain exactly what the candles do and now what the weeks mean and what the body means but yeah um the previous two candles even um yeah the previous two candles we had they were uh, bearish but there's no consistency in this pair all right this one here that's which one euro usd there was a nice trend a few hours ago which is one two three four five i remember that <laughs> yeah there was a nice trend five hours you know going up then it consolidated here for a few hours and then it started come on jock then it started going back up again yeah up up consolidated a little bit there for the next couple hours then started by going up so then it reached a top now and then it started back coming down uh so these two candles indicate that the price is coming down so the trend shift so it may not shift you know it again it could be just consolidating so we don't know which direction is going to go after it consolidates whether it's going to continue going back up or it's going to come back down right so that you have to hold off on that trade you cannot come in it's not wise to come in at that time here because we don't know what's happening you don't know what's happening you're looking for consistency in the trend consistency where you could clearly see that that's the trend this is who now aussie usd i think i went back to the euro pong because that was the strongest trend i was seeing right so then i go to my chart or is the usd euro pound euro pound see that consistently going up all right but we're not even studying now we're studying our current candles now right so what did i trade this morning euro pound i think you know right so all right i was explaining about the one click here the one click buy when you do a one click buy the spread is too much so i don't usually do i no longer do a one click buy i do a pending order i don't even do market execution buy because again the spread is too much i do a pending order and then i do a buy stop and i set the price just above market just above market to minimize my spread or for when it executes that i don't go too much out of money i don't go too much in the red you understand i want once it execute that i start making money as soon as possible that's why I, I i do it like that right and then the stop loss and the take profit i don't set a stop loss and take profit for the fact that 
I'm going to at least be spending an hour or two or three, whatever amount of time it takes for me to monitor this chat. This is what I, this is basically, this is not like a hobby thing where I could just place a trade and then turn. Nah, this is what I want to do as my job. So I have to spend time doing this. I'm not, I don't want no magical thing. You got to put in the work, right? So that's why I don't set a stop loss and I take profit. I want to actually monitor it and decide when I could close the trade by myself or when I should, whether I should leave it. The one click sell, I could do a one click sell because the spread is not that much. When you do a, a one click sell, the price that you sell at is going to be close to the market price. And uh, you guys are going to see that in a while. What was I talking about here? We went under the, um, this is what, under the five minutes. So, all right, so under the five minutes, the pre, the last one, two, three, the last three, five minutes, the price was going up, right? So the last three, five minutes, so we had that coming down. Then it went back up. Go job. Go, go, go. I remember what I was saying there. And then, but the price went back up. And then um, started coming back down again. So our last one, two, three, or uh, three, five. These three green candles here. The last three green candles, the price was going back up, right? Oh yeah, I spoke about the RSI, thirty and seventy. When it's below thirty on the RSI, that means it's oversold. When it's seventy, that means it's overbought. The RSI again is just an indicator. The indicators does not always hold true because the market is unpredictable. The whole thing about this is you're trying to predict something that's unpredictable. So you're making guesses, but you're making educated guesses. So your indicators and your strategies, they just give you that knowledge to make an educated guess. But it will not always go the way that you predicted. And that's where people lose money. And that's where people get frustrated because you thinking you have the strategy down pat, bro, it does not work like that. It don't work like that. If everybody could have predicted the market, then everybody could have been making bread. It don't work like that. All right? So I believe I'm going to come on. No, I believe I know. I'm going to come and do a one click sell and um you guys gonna see that the spread is not much on a on, on a one click sell that's why whenever i sell i just do a one click whenever i buy i do um i do a buy stop um here i'm adding a timer on the candle to see how much time is left on the candle 18 minutes to go on this 40 minute candle before the new candle forms. Alright. Don't remember how long this video was. So what's happening here now? Yeah. Can't believe I forget to put the audio on, man. A man like me that always doing OBS. In that I work in. In that I work in, man. I forget this. Right, so what's going on? What are we doing here now? What are we doing here now? I think I just, yeah, I was waiting to see what's going to happen with this candle, you know. Yeah, we went back to the one hour and still see the consistency. So the current half an hour, people, buyers and sellers fighting still. The current, this that's our 70 minutes left in this half an hour right so but we still have a downward trend so with even 16 minutes to go that price could go anyway it could go keep going down or it could go back up you know and also all right so what i'm about to do here now is draw a horizontal line this horizontal line indicates where the price hit a floor and keep going back up and it hit that floor quite a few times, right? So 
what you do this to predict is that it's going to hit the floor and go back up. 100% guaranteed? Again, no. I've seen many times, which we call a support line, many times it bursts through that support line and just keep going down. So if you're trying to time it for it to hit that support line and then try and catch it on the way back up, sometimes it doesn't always work. That's why when you see these guys recording the videos and then they tell you, all right, oh, let's look back here. It hit here, it hit here. Yeah, it hit here, it hit here back then. But now, I want to see it hit here now and go back up now. Not back then, that pass already. You check it? And that's what I don't find a lot of the videos out there doing. They don't give you live trading. We want live trading videos so that we could actually see what's happening. You dig? All right, so Euro GDP, we on that pair here. We monitoring that pair still under the five minutes. That next candle about to form. And that's when I'm going to make my decision when I should come in. Because the last 5, 10, 15, 20 minutes consolidation. So the market still ain't sure which direction it's going. So always want to start off with a wider time frame. And then you narrow it down so you could get a better understanding of why what's happening in the narrow time frame. The way I could explain this, um, like I was um, saying, like if you look up in the sky and you see clouds in the sky, then you could say, all right, it's about to it's about to rain, all right? How much rain is coming? All right, maybe the weatherman say ten inches or whatever. So. The rain is coming from the east, moving to west. For you to understand what's happening, you have to go closer to the rain. Once you go closer to the rain, then you could go back and tell the community, like, yo, pack up your shit. It's about to get flooded. Wind, strong wind and everything. Right? So, from a distance, we see the rain coming, but we do not know what the rain brings. If we go closer to the rain... Then we could say, all right, yeah, okay, all right. So then we could go back and warn, warn the village and tell the village, like, yo, that rain come in there with some serious, serious wind. Go and do some. So that's why you look at the overall picture and then you come further in. It's just like you're watching a painting. You stand up and you watch a painting from a distance. It looks beautiful. But when you come closer to the painting, then you see all the flaws. You see all the brush strokes. And, and, and then you see some detail that you were not able to see from a distance. So that's why when you look at the chart, same thing, you look at the chart from the four hours and then you start narrowing it down so you could get more detail of what's happening. You understand? This is where USD JPY, I was looking at this chart, um, consolidation here, and then you get two serious bullish candles. So, there money could have making that day. You understand? But the sad thing about that is when you had the price coming down, you miss out on that. Right? So USD JPY still consistently going up. Right? Under the was that 15 minutes still going up. But the RSI high. Now, the RSI high, again, it may not follow the RSI. It could continue going back up. You understand? So, yeah, you want to pay attention to your indicators, but the chart does not always go the way the indicators say. All right? Just bear that in mind. These indicators and the strategies, they give you an idea so you could make an educated guess. It is all a guess. This is not a hundred percent foolproof. All right, I ain't take a trade yet. I still checking my charts. See how much time I take in to check my charts. I just coming in and jumping in and you know, you check your charts and then you see which chart, which pair would be 
better for you to come in, you know? Take your time, you check your charts, check your trends, and then you make a decision as to which pair you're going to trade and when. Patience. Patience, don't panic. Patience, don't panic. And do not be greedy. You come in, you set a goal, hit that goal, get out. Done for the day. Or maybe give yourself a break for a few hours and then come back later. But if you set a daily goal, stick to that daily goal and then done for the day. Next time around, if you want to up, up your, your, your goal, then you could up it. All right, this pair, Pong Canadian. This pair here, we have a nice trend under the one hour, the last one, two, three, four, five hours continue going up. The problem with this pair is I do not have this pair on my MetaTrader 4. So maybe Trader's Way does not trade this pair. You understand? So here I'm going to go to my market watch on my and look for the pair. It's not there. Right? It is not there. So I can't trade this pair. And then now, in doing so, I realized that hey, you know, my pong, my euro pong, euro pong still give me my, my, my same trend. So it's time to come in. Stop sticking, it's time to come in. It's still going down. This is what, half an hour? Yeah, half an hour candle. Still going down. So we're about to come in there soon. All right. They're about to come in here soon. And we're going to do a one-click buy. One-click sell. Come on, guy. Buzz. We're going to do a one-click sell. Like we say, because the spread is not that much. Yeah, and this... Uh, one, one, oh. Wait till you see the money start moving, son. That's when they should get excited. And like, you get nervous unexcited at the same time oh i do all right I, I buy already i sell already all right so we did a one click sell and then as you could see right away we start losing money right so that's where people start and i did um oh shit my logo blocking it well if you look down here at the size five right i did a five lot sell when you just start trading trade point zero one or point one lots do not trade big lots you will blow your account in no time once the market starts going in the opposite direction of the direction that you traded trade smaller lots in the beginning right the quicker you want to make money the quicker it easier the quicker it is for you to lose money as well always bear that in mind yeah you could make money as fast as you could make money, as fast as you could lose money, do not blow your account. You see, my account is four thousand dollars. I have enough cushion for when this thing start dipping, dipping, dipping. I, I good still. You understand? And then um, so I come in, one click sell, and then I start losing money right away. Am I gonna panic? No, because I'm. I trust the f the trend. I trust the trend. We under half an hour. The price going down i chose the trend right so as you could see look all right boom it's gonna fluctuate because buyers and sellers buyers and sellers fighting 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 so the price is gonna fluctuate we still have seven minutes and change to go in this candle under the half an hour right let me see what do i do here now so whenever you come in and sell if the price going back up, you're going to lose money. Whenever you come in and buy, if the price is going down, you're going to lose money. Right? So I went under the 15 to see what's happening. So you come, you take a closer look. Right? We were under the half an hour. Under the half an hour says that, yo, boom, we're going down. Once you start dialing in, then you get a better understanding of what's happening with the price. It's consolidating. That's why we still 
in the red and we ain't start making money yet because boom the market they decide which direction the the, 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 the the price is going then all right you take this trade hoping that it's going to continue going down what if you just start going back up and just continue going up non-stop you blow your account unless you you know you you you, you close the trade you know when you start you know if you figure well all right it go way too much and you have it's not gonna go back in your favor you just close the trade now that's why people said stop losses and and, and take profit so that if they you know they don't get to close the trade on time then they they set a stop loss so that the trade will be closed and um they talk about uh risk management the risk ratio i don't do all that for the fact that i'm monitoring my chart right so i trust my process i'm monitoring the chart seeing which direction this is going and then boom so yeah minus 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 and that's when people start panicking like oh boy they're losing money they're losing money they're like fuck you know so this current candle has four minutes and change to go and it's time to be bullish a bullish candle where you come in and sell you come in on a sell watch how much money that gone already six something minus six something you understand so the dotted green line is my sell price that's where i came in on the sell so basically and then the the line that's fluctuating that's the market price so you want that fluctuating line to go below your dotted green line when you do a sell right so that's what i'm hoping for and it's so it's about to it's, it's about that time it's about go time but that's not a guarantee right so all right you just decide how much money you want to make for the day and then you close off the trade whenever you get to that point the reason why this is going so quick is because i'm trading five lots do not trade that big when you're just starting you will blow your account right so what i'm trying to do here now the mouse is over the x because i want to close out the trade at two something right and because the price is moving so quick you have to try and catch it and that's the exciting part once you start once you're in the money try and catch your quota and it's moving so quickly what is that nice <laughs> I try that price bouncing up and down there to something to something close it out Joe. close it out 26270 yes yeah close it out my g what you waiting for snagger greedy son you see and that's where the greed start to kick in now you see it was already too so it had it was on two something for a few seconds and i could have closed it out and take that to something but no i waiting i waiting for it to reach three bills bro take the two something there you go all right i close it out boom that's it that's it for that trade let's see how much money that was that trade was 260 260 boom so if i set my goal at 200 dollars for the day i already make my goal i already made more money than i would make on my nine to five job bro this is crazy son Hey, we're there killing ourselves for them people, listen. All right, so I, I, um, I, I'm going to take one more trade under this video. Because um, I wanted to, I think at 300, I set my goal out. All right, so boom, you could see now that same candle, the price start to go back up that same candle so imagine a bullish candle and i did a sell trade and i made money under a bullish candle with a sell trade so that's why i say you could never predict the market 
if I had leave this any longer, I would be losing money because the price go up, up, up. So I don't want to see that chat again. I already finished that chat. Come out tight. Come out tight for now. Uh, stand and then, you know, maybe check it later again to see if the trend still continuing. But within this minute and change, you never know. The price could just whoop, go back down. Unpredictable. That's how the market is. That is how the market is. Ooh. Uh -uh. I'm tired, you know, that. TGIF. Thank God it's Friday. Alright, so what are we waiting for? I remember. I think I'm waiting to see how that candle go close out, you know. Yeah, so I, I was able to scalp that at the right time and make a 260 on that there, boom bang. You dig? All right, candle about to... New candle. Which direction is new candle going? We don't know. Some people pay attention to the wicks. The wicks help them decide uh, which direction that is. Uh, I'm not that, that proficient yet. Right? Uh, the reason why I move this line up, this support line up, is because the price hit that line here a couple times and over here. So this could be a support line. Maybe that's why it's going back up. Who knows? I don't know. Would I come back in here on and trade here? No, not yet. Not yet because the market deciding which direction it's gonna go. So that you leave that for now. I was just lucky enough. Lucky is the key word. I was lucky enough to come in on a bullish candle and do a sell trade. That's luck. There ain't no strategy. There ain't no prediction. That's luck that day. This is all luck. So, don't go and say, all right, jokes. Nah, this is, I'm lucky. I'm, I've been getting lucky. You did? Don't use my strategy as gospel. If you use my strategy and you're making money with it, hey, be up yourself. Teach somebody else too. That's what we are here to do. There's enough bread here for everybody to eat our food. If you eating and you show somebody how to eat, you, that person not going to take away from your food. You just helping somebody else eat. You dig? Enough, enough. The market, they're full. All of us, teach your brothers and sisters how to do this thing, man. Come on, man. And don't forget, subscribe to my channel, Digital Bashment. You know? Just a soca DJ. I'm just a DJ who loves soca. I'm not a soca DJ. I'm just a DJ who loves soca. I love dancehall too. I don't love the new dancehall. I'm not a forex trader. I am not an expert. I'm not a guru in forex. I am a DJ who loves soca music. And I'm just looking for different avenues. You know? Different. I could move my logo. Hold on, let me see something here. Nope. Yeah, looking for different avenues to eat a food, bro. Again, oh, like, can't be out there DJing. Eh? Bro, I know I forgot. I haven't checked. All right, we took another trade here. We took another sell trade here on, on what that there, boy. Aussie USD. Why I come in here? I don't even know why I came in here. That's what, half an hour. Bro, that's a mad trade. That is a mad trade. That's a crazy trade. The previous two half an hours consolidation. Why did you come in here, bro? Like, what are you doing? You trying to lose your money? That's why I tell you, boy, 
Now I'm looking at this, I see now it's a mad trade I do there for Joey. Really rest, I'm gonna do this. Man. So, brothers and sisters, this trade here does not coincide with the strategy that I'm using because there's no trend here. Like, I don't even know why I came in here at all. That's madness. You see, I came in here, I probably came in here just with my fingers crossed. You know? Madness are dead, okay? But, we in the money. Boom, out of there. You dig? I'm going to trust that trade. $98. Yeah, because that's madness, though. I know I do that. Right? So, for the day, 260 and 98 For the day, I made what it was. I'll tell you right now. Um, 358 358 for the day, all right? Get that money. Go to YouTube. Follow them tutorials. Use your own strategy. Come up with your own strategy. And of course, don't forget, subscribe to my Digital Bashment channel on YouTube. I'm a DJ who loves soca. There's over a hundred and something mixes there on my channel. Enough music there for you to enjoy. Follow me on SoundCloud, Digital Bashment. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Periscope, Digital Bashment. Be safe out there. Out of there. Yeah, man.